Hey, it's Jerry from Haiku. I want to give you some help with this challenge. So we are looking at the Haiku 101 range and the first goal of submitting a flag. Now it says navigate to the web server and follow the instructions. We'll scroll down here. This right here is our Kali instance. This is our operating system where we're going to be doing the work. Oftentimes CTFs or flags or ranges on the Haiku platform, you'll be giving a Kali instance to work from. It's very similar to Windows if you're familiar with that. Now it says navigate to a web server. Now you need to use a web browser to do that. You might think of a web browser, you may have called it Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, for example. So in our Kali instance, you can see here, this orange and blue is Firefox. It's like a quick link. You can also click on the Kali instance here, which is like hitting the Microsoft Windows key essentially. And you can see it says web browser. So we have a couple different options on how to access this. We'll go ahead and launch Mozilla Firefox, a web browser. Now we need to navigate to the web server. In the ranges, whether it's this one or any other one, you will be given one or many target IP addresses. My IP address is 10.161.93.38. This is just a unique IP address of a system on the Haiku range. Instead of typing in google.com or haikupro.com, we are gonna type in the IP address. Now your IP address will be different because it's dynamically assigned every single time you launch a range. So don't type in 10.161.93.38 like I did. Go ahead and enter your IP address that you have. And when we hit enter, there you go. You can see all we did was we used a web browser to query a web server for information. And the web server is at that IP address. Now you can see here, just as a quick little follow-up since this is an introductory range, the first thing here is your first flag. And this is it right here. Now with CTFs and cyber ranges, just like all over Haiku Pro, you will have a series of flags that you're trying to get. Now the flags could be the name of a file. It could be uh, a, a message hidden in a file. It could be a password that you have to discover. Flags can come in many different forms and fashions, but the flag is what you're trying to get. And when you get a flag, you go ahead and submit the flag in the flag submission box right up here. So you can see here, my first flag. And that's how you do it.